This may actually come as a surprise to many out there, but Sony's biggest and most profitable game ever has absolutely nothing to do with PlayStation, and more specifically, the PlayStation 4. The mobile game Fate Grand Order has earned Sony a shocking $2.7 billion in the past two years alone, with $1.8 billion of that coming from the past 12 months. Fate Grand Order is the typical turn-based action RPG that centers around summoning and collecting characters called servants that you can use in battle. Grinding through missions and upgrading your servants and playing through the story and special events the game offers is the main gameplay loop for Fate Grand Order. There is not much that really makes this game unique when you compare it to other games like it on the mobile gaming market, other than the characters that come from the popular Fate series which spans across video games and anime. Now, personally, I've been playing this game myself for over a year at this point, and I have way more time in this game than I'd probably like to admit, it's kind of scary to think about, but I play this game on a daily basis basically. It's my go-to source of entertainment when I'm just sitting around the house, maybe I'm waiting for something, or maybe I'm in school and I'm sitting through a boring lecture, and I can just pull out my phone, play for 10 minutes to an hour, and then I run out of energy and I'm done. The game's fun, it offers a wide variety of things to do, and it has pretty solid and strategic gameplay elements. However, like most mobile games on the market, the game is absolutely packed full of microtransactions. In the case of Fate Grand Order, the in-game currency you can buy is called Saint Quartz, which you use to perform summons, which cost an insane amount of real-world money. To summon one time in the game, you will need to spend about $3 to get enough Saint Quartz. To do a 10x summon, you are looking at spending $24 to get enough Saint Courts for that one summon for the chance to get a servant you want. That is crazy expensive, and it's no wonder this game is raking in the cash. Personally, I play the game as a free-to-play game, and I've really spent nothing on it, but there are many out there who no doubt pour tons of money into this game. I will say that when you do see a character available in a limited time summon, there is definitely that urge that makes you want to keep summoning for your chance to get that servant. Luckily, I have enough self-restraint that any self-respecting human being should have to not dump my hard-earned savings into something as frivolous as a virtual currency in a mobile game that won't be around in five years, most likely. It's important to note that you can obtain Saint Courts free of charge if you simply play the game, but it takes a very long time to accumulate them. The way the game is structured is to make you want to summon frequently and as much as possible with the servants that are only there for a limited time and once the summon period is over you can never get them again so then people become obsessed with getting their favorite characters and will be more than happy to go out and buy saint courts for an insane amount of money just with their hopes of getting that character so there is definitely some manipulation of the player base here i mean it's obvious they want you to think that these servants are really something special and they want you to be of the mindset where it's like oh damn i gotta get my favorite character i'm gonna go out and spend some serious money then $300 later after buying Saint Quartz and summoning for that character you don't even get them so then you go out and spend more money and thus making Sony even more money off of it. There's definitely some predatory aspects of this but then again it's a choice at the end of the day. There is no one forcing you to buy Saint Quartz it is all 100% up to the individual but you can play this game from start to finish and experience every single thing it has to offer. You can get every single character 100% free of cost. If you are lucky with the Saint Quartz you get for free you can get every single servant that somebody maybe went out and spent three thousand dollars to get it's all about luck and that's all it comes down to so really just spending money just gives you more opportunities to get the servants you want it does not ensure anything and with that there's that compulsive kind of influence on people that makes them want to go out and just spend obscene amounts of money on this game and with the high prices of the microtransactions it is no surprise that Sony is absolutely rolling in the money when it comes to this game. But what's interesting about all this is that Sony in the past few years started a mobile gaming division to produce games like this called ForwardWorks. Sony, Microsoft, and even Nintendo are fully embracing the mobile platform at this point in an attempt to reach a wider audience and capitalize off of one of gaming's most profitable markets. The interesting thing about this though is that Sony ForwardWorks is not the company behind this game. It doesn't even come from Sony Interactive Entertainment. Instead, Aniplex, a subsidiary owned and operated under Sony Music Entertainment and the owner of the Fate IP, is responsible for this game. 
there will be no doubt that ForwardWorks in the future will be taking notes from the success of Fate Grand Order, to say the very least. But given the success of games like this, it's no surprise that many gaming companies want to get behind mobile gaming as well to capitalize. Like I mentioned before, Nintendo, a company that is historically known for not allowing their IPs anywhere near anything, but a Nintendo product is now embracing mobile gaming more than anyone you could argue. Games like Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, Pokemon, and soon to be Mario Kart are all on iPhone and Android devices. At E3, EA announced a new Command & Conquer game developed from the ground up for mobile devices. Microsoft at E3 announced Gears Pop for mobile phones on Android and iPhone. This is a trend that I have a feeling will only continue to carry forward in the industry more and more with each passing day. Phil Spencer, head of gaming at Microsoft, has already said flat out that their focus moving forward is going to be heavily influenced by the mobile market. Now it's not to say that Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are going to give up on making games for consoles in favor of cell phones. That'd be absolutely ridiculous to draw that conclusion, but when games like Fate Grand Order have such an insane level of success with what I'm guessing just from playing the game as long as I have, a pretty damn easy and cheap game to create, more companies are going to take notice and want a piece of the pie for themselves, which is completely understandable because that's how business works. I have full confidence that all three companies can easily find a balance between the two markets because they're completely different and totally, totally different in what each set of gamers want. I may enjoy Fate Grand Order while I'm sitting down eating lunch, sitting in class, or taking a shit, but I'd never want that to be the only gaming experience I had. I will always want the real gaming experiences that consoles or PCs provide, and Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are definitely not just going to drop everything and say, yeah, screw consoles, we're only making phone games from now on. But anyway guys, make sure to let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Is it something that's surprising to you to hear that a game like Fate Grand Order is capable of making nearly $2 billion a year solely off of microtransactions, or at this point is it something to be expected with how obsessed people get with mobile gaming? Personally, I still kind of find it hard to believe in all honesty, but then again, people buy stupid shit all the time. And it's none of my business, quite frankly. If you have money, you can choose how to spend it. It means nothing to me and it has no impact on me. So go ahead, knock yourself out. Who the hell am I to judge? If you want to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars in a mobile game that may not be around in five years that offers you no real world benefit, go for it. Knock yourselves out. It is your money. But anyway, guys, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new for more videos like this in the future and click the bell for notifications so you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Also, please go follow me on Twitter at Griffin underscore gaming or click the link in the description below. That is by far the best place to reach me, ask me a question, or whatever the hell you want to do. I will be a hundred times more likely to see it on Twitter versus the YouTube comment section. Now, that's not to say I'm not reading the comments, but a lot of stuff gets lost in there. So make sure go follow me on Twitter at Griffin underscore gaming or click the link in the description below if you have something you want to tell me or ask me i will be much more likely to get back to you and i will be able to do it much quicker most likely so it works out for both of us and plus i'm actually trying to get my followers up right now so i would greatly appreciate if you could go follow me on there but anyway guys i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time